The Latino Commission on AIDS is a non-profit membership organization dedicated to fighting the spread of HIV in the Latino community in the United States. The organization provides services such as health education, HIV prevention, capacity building assistance, advocacy, and awareness, and Hispanic behavioral health research. Guillermo Chacon, president and CEO, says the Hispanic community is being helped with these programs, but there are still many challenges. When we offer the test for our communities, people take the test. And when we offer information, people are eager to get information. The challenge that we have is that right now uh, in New York and across the U.S. Uh, in territories, is less resources to really confront this epidemic. Mr. Chacon also explains that the number of Latinos with HIV has dramatically increased in the last decade. The spread of HIV uh, across the United States is over one million people that have been diagnosed with HIV. Among Hispanic Latinos, uh, more than 200,000. And the new phase of, of AIDS is a very, um, a very seriously among young uh, a gay men, Latino gay men, uh, African Americans as well and also about you know, new immigrants that are here that have limited uh, ability to speak English and lack of um, uh, access to care and services. The spread of the disease is a direct result of alcohol abuse, drugs, and unprotected sex. These are the realities that the organization understands very well and are urging every level of government to respond to the crisis. These ways will put somebody at risk of HIV and other illnesses. And again, I, I, we strongly believe that um, President Obama last year launched the National HIV AIDS Strategy. We hope that every state and territory will take seriously this new strategy first ever. And one of the many efforts is to increase alertness among Latino women who, as Mr. Chacon explains, must be very vigilant even if they are in a committed heterosexual relationship. If you look, the cases in Puerto Rico has been an increase of, of women uh, getting infected through heterosexual relationship. And, and we always remember, remind uh, us and the communities that we work with that HIV and AIDS do not discriminate. And, and women has been uh, heavily impacted, especially because uh, uh, it has been lack of initiatives and campaigns targeting women, Latinas in, in particular. But as the awareness campaigns continue, Mr. Chacon and other advocates also struggle to help those who have already tested positive. HIV is very personal and is, is the, the challenge for us is to ensure that if somebody is connected to care and, and accessing medications, that we keep that person getting those two resources because the quality of life of, of any individual living with HIV depend of it, it's maintaining themselves it, with receiving the treatment medications in order to slow down the progression of HIV to avoid developing AIDS. And that's the challenge.